when I interviewed here back in February of my senior year of college, I remember completing my interview day and calling my mom and saying, if I go to school here, they will train me to be a good doctor. And from year one to year four, that has remained true. I can pop into anyone's office and just ask for advice, ask for help on rounds or any rotation. Everyone's so willing to teach and I think that's been really awesome. You have a million like physician mentors to look up to who not only are super cool, but also know your name and care about how well you're doing. They really uh, expose you to patients pretty early on, so you get that exposure. So third year is not really the first time you're really seeing patients and interacting with them. I remember yeah. when I went to step two, there were people who had never worked with a standardized patient before, and that was just so foreign to like, me. This is yeah. like Friday. I mean, that's yeah, that, that was a weekly occurrence for us. Our patient wrap of span of the week yeah. the, in the first two years helped us develop a lot of empathy for what patients are going through, and I think that some of the people that I met early on are going to stick with me and change the way that I practice really for I mean for the rest of my life as far as as far as I know the professors and the attendings I've had here have taught me clinically of course to excel as a future physician but one of my attendings and this is really stuck told me to always imagine your patients as um, how you would want to treat them how you would want your family members to be treated and so uh, I always try to remember that, that these patients are human beings, they're not just diseases. And that was repeated to us throughout our education here multiple times by multiple people. And then the research component also is, is great. I feel it like is, that, you know, that helps I, a lot. I think, you know, some, some of us are a little late bloomers in it, but, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> we, we all make it, hopefully. This school really sets you up for success. Um, even if you don't have a glamorous, positive study, like, I didn't have that, but I had incredible research experiences to talk about in my interviews, and people were very impressed, not only impressed with my work, but impressed with my school, that they set me up for this and encouraged me along the way. You know, getting to know people who can be mentors to you and having words of encouragement or feeling just safe going to someone and saying, hey, I don't know this, I need some help, is something that I <laughs> learned here um, and I think is a valuable skill to carry forward. It taught me that this is uh, a lifelong process uh, that you get better at, but you, ha you always have to be pushing yourself because if you get complacent, there's always more knowledge that you can gain, there's always new research to learn about. And so being in an environment where it's very academic, where the providers are pushing themselves, uh, where the students are pushing each other, um, and the, you're being provoked by the providers and the residents as well, it makes you realize that this is a, a process that goes through your whole life and that you really, to best serve your patients and to be the best colleague you can be, you, you do have to continue to push yourself to learn more and to challenge yourself. They really did raise us from little tiny babies in this field, and so I think we're all going to go out and do, hopefully, big things. And now that I've been on residency interviews and interacted with medical students from other schools, I'm so grateful for my experience at VTC. I think it's shaped me not only into a future clinician, but a researcher. Um, and I think those two things together are going to make me a better doctor. They've truly helped me set the foundation to be the doctor that I'll be in the future.